All right, so what's up? You got Patrick here, and I want to talk about how to get into a chest voice mix. Now, the chest voice mix is something that's a, a much more advanced technique, but I tend to find that it actually seems to work better through the, the upper middle register, so around a high B um, and an A, and, and right around that particular area, it tends to work a little bit better. Um, just because you're able to get the intensity that you want on those notes, and then when you get to a high C or higher, you're going to take it way back into the head voice and you're going to thin it out. There's no way of really singing a chest voice and it won't sound good at a high C. Um, at least for me it won't. I'm, everybody's voice is a little bit different, but most voices are typically around the same spot. So let me give you an example of what I mean. Okay, so if I'm just going to be singing, like uh, say I'm singing uh, Say Hello to Heaven. This is a song that I've been working on. I really like the song. So like say I sing it like just a normal speaking voice. So like, please mother mercy. Take me from this place and the long winded curses. Okay, it can sound good. It can sound good. But if I want to do it like Chris, if I want to have that deeper sound, okay, um, I'm going to have to resonate right here. Now, I don't take that out of the mask. I have that in the mask right there. But I'm not going to take it out of there. I'm going to keep it in the mask and then I'm going to resonate down here. Hey, hey, hey. Please, Mother Mercy, take me from this place and the long winded curses. You know, and then you get to the upper notes. He came from an island and he died in the streets. He hurt so bad like a soul breaking, but he never said nothing to me. Hey, yeah! Okay you start singing in that particular way, it's going to be a lot heavier, okay? Now, even without adding in any of the rasp, it's going to sound more correct just singing in that particular way, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting. So the way that I'm doing this, the way that I'm getting into that particular sound as opposed to, say, a, a smaller kind of speaking voice sound is I'm just simply keeping it in the mask, and then I resonate right here, okay? A word of caution, though. Um, singing in the chest voice will tire you out more than singing in the mask, okay? Now, once again, you're not leaving the mask. You're just simply mixing the registers now. This is what's known as a mix, okay? So you're mixing right here with you know, the chest voice sounds so okay, and you can hear it kind of rounding out. It's a C sharp there. Um, and I'm going to have to take that to the back of the head. So listen. There I go into the head voice. All right? Yeah! It's a very, very small, thin sound. All right? I'm not keeping that in the chest voice. You cannot sing that high with the chest voice. I don't even know how high that was. The high G. High G above high C. See if you can pull that one off like that. But you have got to understand that when you're doing these registers, you have to understand that lower notes are going to be more towards the chest voice. Higher notes are going to be more towards the head voice. And you're literally just resonating up there. So, whoo, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, if I want to tape that note. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can add in. God, this fucking high. I can add in the chest voice. Okay, I can add that in right, right here. Um, it's going to be harsh. It's going to be hard. But I can do it. It's not like it's impossible. And then say I'm singing live, and it's like, okay, well, you know, I want to get through the set. What I can do, rather than just, you know, going out there and blowing out my voice every single night singing in the chest voice, which can can happen. Um, you know, Chris Cornell certainly was somebody who did that, especially in the Super Unknown Tour. In fact, he um, had strained his voice so badly that he had to quit the tour, I believe, on, like towards the end there of the Super Unknown Tour. And he just gave it some rest. It's not like... If you're in the mask you're going to have a lot of release through the vocal cords. I mean, the screaming is going to be released. Um, everything's going to release through the nose. This is the, this is the key. Okay. If you're here, you'll be okay. If you're, if you're here the entire time, Hey, what's up? You're going to have some real problems. If you're not mixing in with the mask, every good singer from the nineties, from Axl Rose and from uh, Vince Neil and so on. Um, that's, that comes from the mask. That comes from this... 
and that tends to resonate right here in the mask. And so you want to try and keep that mask resonance there. And, that, and that's what they practice. That's where their muscle memory went. And then you take it and you resonate down the chest. And that's how you really get that big chest voice tone. Um, and then um, you can also get the screaming in there, which, by the way, um, if you're trying to do this gravel stuff, this, uh, that type of stuff, it's never going to work. It's not how they're doing it. They're doing it with a vocal fry. And uh, I can promise you that. And I've got some other videos on that if you want to check them out. Um, how to scream with, with a vocal fry, how M. Shadows screams. Shadows is probably the best in the world at the vocal fry for singing. Um, there's other guys, David Draymond, who's very, very good at it. I've got a video on that, which I, now, it's my most popular video, and I disagree with the entire thing now, which is weird. But whatever. Um, David Draymond is not screaming that way. I should put a note on that and be like, this video is wrong. Sorry, I apologize, but that's not how he's actually doing it. It was my best interpretation off of the information that I had at the time. Um... I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can add in here and explain to you guys. Um, I guess what I would say is that this stuff takes time to get down. It takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of practice. It's not something you're going to have down right away. And so if you're thinking that you're just going to be you're like, oh, okay, here's the technique, and you're just going to go and scream, it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. You've really got to dial into the technique. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's how I would get into it. Um, you, you don't want to try and shape your throat necessarily. You simply just sing from where you speak and you resonate down here. So like I'm not changing my speaking voice, okay, or changing the, the, the plate. I'm just changing the placement of where I speak. You know, so if I wanted to get really, really high, eh, really in the mask, I can do this, you know. And I just change where I'm, where I'm resonating it rather than trying to change the actual voice. And that's really kind of the key. And so you're keeping it here. <laughs> And it actually feels easier to me going through up to the high C. So anyways, that's it. That's how to get the, uh, the deep chest voice rocker resonance there.